Welcome to Backyard Plinky. My name is Charles. I'll be your host as we explore everything BB and pellet related from air pistols to air rifles, targets, and ammo. I think I'm straight now. I think I got all the little loose ends tied up. It's just been hectic for a couple of weeks with a storm and whatnot. So, see if we can get back on track. We're going to start because it's been a couple of weeks since I've uh, Showed you, showed you guys something new. This cute little thing is from Daisy. It is the Powerline 35. Now, this thing is geared more toward the youth, which is fine. I mean, you need to, they need to start somewhere. A little responsibility, you know, understanding of how things actually work. <clears throat> This thing, uh, anywhere from 35 to about 43 bucks, it depends. Now, I've looked in a lot of different places looking for a combo package where it comes with a scope. I haven't found one yet, but that's okay. Probably next month, we're gonna start looking at some uh, accessory stuff, you know, laser lights for the pistols and scopes and stuff like that, the aftermarket that you could go and pick up. Well, see which ones work which ones don't about 690 feet per second now, the daisy powerline 800 series is about 800 feet per second so yeah, it's a little slower but that's okay bolt back for a pellet load and it does have the bb chamber on the other side don't forget, you got to make a decision. If you load this thing with BBs and try to put a pellet in it, you're going to have to pull a BB out of the way every time. So, for shots we're going to be taking, we use nothing but pellets. Fixed front sight, it is dotted. <clears throat> got a buckhorn rear sight on it. But you can see right there, this one actually has a not only the elevation, but a windage adjustment. You can loosen the little screw and move it back and forth. It's pretty light. It's like three pounds total, I think. And it's only two, right at three and a half feet long. Let's see if we can take a couple of shots. Of course, from my big giant fingers, use my handy dandy pellet loaders. We're on safe. It does have a cross bolt safety in it. It's right at the trigger. It's pretty easy to pump. Alright, who wants to be first? Uh, about a clay pigeon. Put a hole right through the middle of it. That's nice. I like that. Now, these are going to come with the camouflage. coating on them. Gee, maybe I should have put BBs in there. It'd been easier. But the uh, camouflage um, dip on the plastic, which is, I mean, that's kind of cool. I like that. Had a shatter blast. Got a pretty good little bit of a punch for only 690 feet per second. All right. I, I tell you though, I'm just glad to be back outside doing this again. Had enough hurricane stuff up to here. Let's see if it'll. Make a piece of swinging steel ring.
Ding. <clears throat> this little thing is pretty cool. You might have to. We got several smaller versions. Uh, you know, I don't want to say underpowered or low powered because it's this thing would still hurt you pretty bad. <clears throat> After I set back up and we finish our lead versus alloy, we might have to get some of the little ones out. Just have a good time with them and see what all we can see what all we can make them do. But, just wanted to show this little thing to you. Like I said, it's about 40 bucks, basically, at your favorite retailer or sporting goods store, and they're not bad. They, they do what they're supposed to, and it's actually fun to shoot. Easy. Powerline 35. Cool. Well, until next time, my name is Charles. It's Backyard Plinking.